the pad pod, the pad pod, hanging with the hickey squad, think he's cool, we do too, listen up, he speaks the truth, the pad pod, the pad pod, be a part of hickey squad, no more singing, go, 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 this is the pad hickey show. That's all he does all day, all he does is play that song, I, I watch all him, day. I'm, I mean, I've been here, I don't know, an hour, you take him. Yeah. 25 calls. Yeah. It's just boom. That's how we boom, do. Bam, boom, bam. That's what we do. That's what we do. Hey, Fetty. We need to do a show on how you're how you'd be good on the phone. You'd be good at that show. Would you I don't do know that? about that. I'm not good on the phone. I mean, I don't oh, know. Oh, come on. I, I mean, know. your whole your whole yeah. thing on the phone is, I mean, you're just it's all yeah. about being a friend, right? I man, I guess. I mean, I just I mean, I have like, you know, 2,000 phone calls a day. I, you know, I don't, I don't have enough time. I think it's if idle time is the devil's time. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to deal with the devil. So I just keep busy all day long. That's good. That's right. I just keep busy well, all day long. And, and speaking of the devil, uh, today's show is something a little bit different. You're going to go, well, why does this matter? Giving back. I'm going to tell you about that. And Pat is in just a minute why that's so important. But first, would you please subscribe to the show? Uh, please. please. Please subscribe please. to the program. Please. Um, there's always something new. You're always going to learn something and hopefully have a great time, too, doing it, joining us uh, each and every week. Plus, I get $100 every subscriber, don't I? Is that right? That's, yeah. That's $100? Not, you told me I get $100 every subscriber that I get. <laughs> no? no and, sure. and a free car wash, too. Yeah. Uh, no, we I mean, didn't get, get it. But, hey, who knows? The more subscribers. I might someday. It might be, yeah. absolutely. So, please subscribe. And also follow Pat hmm. at, um, well, right there on, on Twitter and Instagram and um, Facebook. Those are great places to go. All right. One of the things that surprised me about you when I started getting to know you is you do have a strong belief in God. I do. And you also have a strong belief in giving back. And a lot of people think, yeah, car guy, and he's Mr. De- Wheeling and Dealing. We do that too. You do that too. I do that but, too. You know, but why is giving back important to you? Well, I think that, you know, everybody ne- everybody falls down and everybody needs a helping hand. And I think that, you know, you know, there's an old saying, if, you know, you cast your bread, it'll come back tenfold and it's always work. So, you know, I, but that was, you know, we talked about advice and mm-hmm. just thinking about advice, you know, some of the things my dad told me was, you know, Hey, you cast your bread and it'll come back to you tenfold. Sometimes you'll get soggy bread, but he said, most of the times, hey, if you cast your bread, it'll come back to you tenfold. Not that day, but someday. Mm -hmm. So that advice has probably worked out pretty good for me. It's just that, you know, giving back to people and helping and being kind, it just does help. And it it does, you know, it will come back to you Mm -hmm. tenfold. It will, you'll, you'll see the fruits of giving it'll come back to you. And you, sometimes you don't even realize when it does come back to you, but it does always come back. And it's not something that you advertise a lot. I mean, you'll, no. you'll tell people sometimes no. about your Christmas. That's yeah. a big one where you like right. to fill the office full of toys. Right, Christmas um, wish and stuff like that, you know. But uh, but not think, too long ago, you went to Mexico and you helped I did. Out. We built houses for, for uh, underprivileged families, which was great for my, my kids and, you know, my family to see the, how the other half live and be appreciative. When sometimes when you give back, you know, we take a lot of things we have for granted that when you do give back, it does make you take a better appreciation for what you do have and makes you work even harder for to get even more things. So, I mean, sometimes we do get lazy or we get words, lazy is a bad word, complacent, mm-hmm. um, numb is a good word, numb. You just expect or, you know, um, you just expect it to be that way. And, and it's not, we're very blessed. A lot of us are very blessed. We don't even know we're blessed. We think the life's still so bad and it's so horrible. And all you gotta do is go see someone else's life. And you're like, my life isn't that bad. Yeah. My life's not that bad. And you've been around all the world right. too. I've seen some of the videos you send me. I'm like, you know, when you think life's so bad and that here, you know, you, we do have problems and we all have problems, but at the end of the day, our problems are minuscule to some of the problems out there for people just getting clean water or Absolutely. food or just food, right? Just, I mean, they, they wake up in the morning, they go, Ma, where am I gonna get breakfast today? Or lunch, or my one meal? Where am I gonna get my one meal today? Well, we've talked about, you know, your kids were, uh, I remember a couple of weeks ago, you were telling me your kid didn't want to watch because it wasn't a Rolex. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My, my little spoiled brats, you don't want to use them as an example, but, but that's my own fault. Right. I made them entitled. But I, you know, I met kids in Bangladesh and in Africa who, you know, they dream of where our kids dream of computers and cars, okay. they wish they could have a 
plastic, plastic bottle with water. Bottle yeah. with water in yeah, it. Yeah, right. I mean, right. it's like a dream. They, right. they can't even imagine it. Right. Or even a house with a roof on it. Like some people live in, still, today's world, people live in cardboard boxes. I mean, families. You go to Mexico, you're like, oh, no. When you see it with your own eyes and you see people that, they live in a cardboard box. And mm -hmm. you're like, how do they do that? And they're happy. You know what's the weirdest thing that really trips your mind out? Is that they're happy? They're smiling, like they're ha they're literally they literally are happy. And you're like, how could you be happy living in a box with no food, right? With no money, with no car, with no cell phone, and you're happy? Like they're smiling. I mean, I'm sure you saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you make it confuses think, your brain a little bit. It you're does. like, wow. There how can they, they? I wouldn't be happy. You wouldn't be happy. <laughs> but they're happy, and they make you happy because they're happy. It's, it's like weird. It's, exactly. You, you remind yeah. me of a of a little girl whose family lived on a beach in Bangladesh living in not much more in a right, box right. and she grabbed my hand and wanted to show me her house right. where her mom is getting sticks to put into a hole to put the food on top right, of for right, lunch right and it's like bugs they're eating yeah, like, yeah. like they're cooking wor meal worms yeah like, i think it was uh, fish though yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. still pretty rough yeah, yeah. um there was a, an opportunity in january where you and I got to go down and you were invited by Mike Rowe right. to go and help out uh, right. a, f a family. Do you remember that? Mike Rowe. Nice to meet you. Do you report? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank I understand you. you You gave us a deal. I did. I, I did. appreciate yeah, it. it. Yeah, we did. We gave, away a, we gave away an F-450 truck to a family that was, uh, they donated their time to a lot of people and Mike Rowe does a lot of good things around the country. And it was neat to be aligned with him and give a truck back to a family. And man, were they, they were excited. All right, Patty, you ready? It's okay. showtime. Tell hey, me if that. if I crash this, buddy, that's gonna be showtime. Oh. Yeah. Okay. They were excited. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, the leaders of the the Black Rodeo Association Black Rodeo, of Arizona. Right. right, right. Exactly. Uh, exactly. It was Rodeo Lives Mattered. It was at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but it yeah. was it was great, and they yeah. were so excited, and and you had a great time doing no, it, was it too, fun. didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was fun. Right. It was really great, and it was to to get in a community. It was a, a, a black rodeo that was all black cowboys that. And it was just neat to see that, that I was never even accustomed to. Mm -hmm. It was a neat, neat, and it was really a great experience. Really a really great experience. And right? this, this gentleman who um, Mike Rowe and his team chose um, really helped that community. And yeah. by you getting this truck for him really changed the lives of a lot of these. It was, these were specifically focused on uh, young black kids who were in the inner city causing trouble and he taught them how to do rodeo. How to do rodeo and how to how to learn to work hard on a ranch, mm -hmm. how to move up on a ranch, right. how to get work habits that they didn't know and how to stay, you know, stay safe, be in a safe environment and do good work, hard work and then teach them those habits so they could be successful in life. Mm -hmm. I thought yeah, and he was it was really a great great thing to give yeah. back on. You know, we also give back like Boulder Crest and I don't even remember that. We gave him a van. You know, so they could have, what they do is they take uh, people that have mental issues, uh, PTSD, um, issues that they have hard time getting back in society. They bring them there to a, a place where they have doctors and food programs and uh, work programs to show them how to get back in realigned with society mm -hmm. from from what the, the tragedies they've had associated with their with their army or military career that they can get back into society that's great so yeah that was some of the stuff too you know yeah. and finding stuff to give them and there's so many causes you know it doesn't have to be money either you know sometimes like you said we just donated our time to go help build houses which i'm not a very good construction guy but it was yeah, i probably to, wouldn't want to live in that house that you built yeah i don't know <laughs> no it was actually turned out pretty good we had people above us but yeah. you know it was neat getting out there and doing hammering and, and doing physical labor to go out and do that because it wasn't the money so much. They needed the labor and the support and to see that other people from other communities are willing to give up their time, which were very valuable to me. Mm -hmm. My time's more valuable than money. Is that to go down there and they saw that and they were so appreciative. You got to meet the family. So, I mean, my, my advice to everybody is to, and not only that, how good your family feels and how much more they, they appreciate things and how much tighter your family becomes by doing that is 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 way more than any money you could donate right. to them and to you right so giving back is really really very very probably part of you know all the things we're putting together how to move up give back mm -hmm. people see that you're kind people want to be associated with you uh the best advice give back <laughs> you know what mm -hmm. i mean is that the more you give it's going to come back to you tenfold so i mean these are all related all these podcasts that say here you know the more you give back 
again, the more you're going to get back. Yeah. Okay. You also uh, do a lot of things with animals too, right? I do, yeah. I do. You That's know, and again, the, the, the dogs are always, you know, how can you not like dogs and cats and right. animals? But, uh, you know, every dog you get adopted, you save another dog. So, you know, by adopting a dog or, or you know, not buying them from pet shelters or buying them from pet breeders, you're really, you're, you're doing a, a society a, a good thing by helping animals and helping people. Yeah. Right. Well, so giving back is important, and, and like he said, it's, uh, you know, what'd you say, you, you throw out and you get 10 times back? Cast your bread. Cast your bread. Yeah, Cast your bread. for every, you know, you'll get 10 times your bread back. And not even for doing it for that reason, but the idea of doing the right thing at the right time always. I don't. I mean, you could be selfish. Do it for your own self. But if you, you first have to give the give give out to uh -huh. give back, right? And I don't think everyone. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Don't. I mean, don't do it just to assuming you're something going to get back. But I. It just is. It's the more you give, the more you get. And if you read through anything, any kind of history, people that gave always got back more, always. And it's proven time and time again. So the more you give, the more you get. Well, one thing you could give to us is your uh, like and your subscription here to the Pat Hickey Podcast. We sure appreciate that. Um, also, follow Pat on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and share this show with people. We know that they'll enjoy it as well. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. We'll catch you next time. For Pat Hickey, I'm Rusty Humphreys, and this is the Pat Hickey Show. Have a great day.